Okay, today is January the 17th, 2019. This is a short update. Uh, we've been having rain the last uh, three days <clears throat> here in the uh, Los Angeles area. Uh, right now it's about 1.30 p.m. And it's uh, continuing to rain in the uh, area. Uh, right now, uh, we've uh, overnight we had 3.156 inches of rain. That's 3 and 5.30 seconds of an inch. And uh, <clears throat> the day before, on the 15th, now we had 9 sixteenths on that day, on the 15th. And then back on the 14th, we had 1 and 17 30 seconds, which is 1.531. So over the last, uh, and of course, back on the 12th, which I believe I already reported, we had 11 sixteenths. Okay, so since the 12th, we've had 5.938 inches, which is pretty good. <clears throat> and that brings the uh, season total up to 12.95 inches. So we're at 12.95 for the season. That's uh, comparable to, uh, to uh, two years ago when we had over about 23 inches of rain uh, two years ago. So, all right. So right now we're looking at the uh, Northeast Pacific water vapor loop. And uh, this was a 970 millibar storm system right offshore here. Uh, yesterday, and that has been forced north. We can see high pressure uh, going in right here, and that is pushing everything uh, further to the north. So we've got jet stream flow moving right into Southern California today. We've got another developing weather system out here. We'll take a look at that on the uh, surface analysis map here in a second. Now let's take a look at some of these other maps. We've got the uh, the IR map. We can see a rectangular feature on this uh, weather system. Yesterday I tried to get a video up, but just uh, couldn't get it done. Uh, too busy uh, here in the in the water vapor map. We can see that rect rectangular uh, imprint right here, and that is once again that separates the vortex, the lowest pressure area of the storm system, uh, from the frontal system. So this is how the the pressure is manipulated. They do the same thing in hurricanes. Uh, Although in dealing with hurricanes, the, the center of the system is superheated. We see the pressure waves, the shock waves that move out radially. This is a little bit different. They imply heat uh, from a satellite transmitter, and we can see that rectangular uh, imprint. That's either from a laser or a uh, microwave. There's only a few ways this can be done, and those are the, the two most likely. We can see that imprint there. We've got a dead frame. We'll get rid of that. But uh, we can see that uh, that system has, has been pushed to the north. We've got some clockwise rotation right down here. And that has forced the system north. Now, we're still getting uh, quite a bit of rain. Uh, let's look at the Doppler map here. And we can see the, uh, the situation here over Southern California. And uh, those uh, WSR-88Ds were... Pretty much idling the last three days. I do have some screenshots, which I'll put up on the next video, showing some minor manipulation uh, of the uh, atmosphere uh, during the last three days of rain uh, out in the desert area and also over the Southern California, uh, Los Angeles, and San Diego areas. We'll, we'll show that in the next video. We can see that the, uh, the High Sierra is receiving a lot of snow. And the entire state uh, got a good soaking, so it's all good news. That'll uh, fill up the reservoirs and provide a lot of uh, cheap drinking water for the uh, entire southwestern area. Now, uh, Dingbat uh, Gavin Newsom has a plan to uh, tax drinking water. So I'd like everybody uh, listening to this video to send him a, an email and that uh, crazy bunch of people up there in that Sacramento government. Let them know what you think about what you're seeing on these videos. and and uh, what uh, Newsom has in store for the uh, people, the taxpayers of California. Okay, so here we're looking at the uh, western U.S. water vapor loop. We can see that a rectangular imprint. Uh, that system is being pushed to the north. We can see the high pressure installed here. You see the uh, evaporation occurring here in the jet stream. This is uh, moving right into Southern California. We should be having uh, a lot of rain continuing uh, throughout the day. Uh, the uh, barometric pressure is on the rise. 
and we're at a 29.99 as of this morning around 10 a.m. Looking at the infrared map, we see those deep pockets of moisture moving in. And uh, got some manipulation occurring in this area. We can see the evaporation going on right here. So the uh, amount of rain is being regulated and tailored. Here is the southwest water vapor loop. We can see that jet stream flow moving right into Southern California. All right, now looking at the MODIS Today map for today, we've got, we're looking at the uh, Las Vegas area right now. Now this map is not working. There it goes. So this is the uh, lower corner of Nevada. Down here, this is Las Vegas area. We can see the uh, chemtrail haze being sprayed over uh, in this direction. We can see the natural clouds that have moved in. And then we have the uh, blanket of uh, the aerosol chemtrail haze. All right, let's take a look at uh, yesterday's map. Notice today map and uh, see what we find. We'll let that load and we'll go back in just a sec. Let's take a look at the surface analysis map. We can see uh, this is a still uh, designated as a storm. Right here, this was out here, right about here yesterday. This was a giant system. This had a, a right angle on it for a couple of days, right, right here. Now this has been pushed north and uh, we see that the pressure has risen since yesterday morning. Uh, we had 970 millibar pressure yesterday morning. Today it's 976, still designated as a storm that will be moving to the north. We have another uh, system out here developing right over the, just north of the Hawaiian Islands right down here, right there. And uh, this system will move also to the north. We've got high pressure being installed right now over the, uh, just offshore of Southern California. And that will push all these systems uh, further to the north. So we got a good amount of rain for the time being, and we hope that uh, the trend will continue all the way through the rest of the winter. We should be getting a lot of rain from these uh, Pacific weather systems. And so if we get several inches every couple of weeks, uh, that's what we need here in Southern California. All right, let's uh, take a look next at the... Uh, this is the swell report. Now, yesterday offshore, this storm was generating 51 foot swells right out here. And since it's moved in, we've seen those right angle imprints. They've weakened the system. It's now 976 millibar, but it's still generating 31 foot swells right off of uh, Eureka and uh, the Oregon border right about here. But look down here. All these swells are going to be moving into central California, 21 and 24 foot swells today and tomorrow. So uh, that's going to be uh, generate some very high waves for the uh, west and northwest facing uh, beaches. Once again, the, the uh, Doppler map, you can see the uh, rain pattern starting to dry out a little bit. Uh, we do have rain forecasted for the uh, rest of the day, the rest of the afternoon. Today we see that the higher elevations, Big Bear, is still getting just a, a little bit of snow right here. Yesterday, the day before, we had a lot of snow falling up in the uh, San Gabriel Mountains along uh, Crestline, Big Bear, and out into uh, Wrightwood, uh, the Wrightwood area. Okay, so that's all great news. And uh, jet stream map right here. We can see the pattern today moving right into California. Okay, all right, so we'll just leave it right here, and we will uh, follow up with another uh, video here real soon. Okay, that's it.